As the crisis deepened over the weekend, prices for digital currencies once again fell as a result of last week's massive earthquake in the trillion-dollar crypto industry. As of Monday, Bitcoin, the world's most valuable cryptocurrency, was trading for about 16500 according to Coindesk. FTX trades at $1,230 after losing over 20% over the past week. Coindesk data shows Ethereum, the second most valuable cryptocurrency, is also struggling. Investors continue to grapple with the shocking collapse of one of the industry's biggest and most powerful players, FTX. Due to the collapse of the company, an industry Lamont moment has been triggered, referencing the 2008 investment bank collapse. As a result of the episode, global regulators will tighten the screws on the crypto industry. Many industry players welcome the scrutiny as long as it restores trust. CZ spoke at a conference in Indonesia on Monday and said there are a lot of risks. We've seen things go crazy in the industry in the past week, so we need some regulations. We need to do this properly. Finance and FTX reached a tentative rescue deal earlier last week, but it fell apart almost immediately. He said it is probably an accurate analogy to the current crypto turmoil. FTX filed for bankruptcy on Friday. Another big name is also admitted to mishandling funds, further spooking investors. In the last few days, a crisis has just begun to unfold. We show you how to manage the stock market and cryptocurrencies as well as personal finance at our channel, Crypto Castle. Make sure to check the notification bell whenever we post and make sure you don't miss anything. Do not hesitate to like, subscribe, as well as share. Former CEO Sam Bankman Freed hailed the Bahamas as one of the few places to set up a comprehensive crypto framework when FTX moved from Hong Kong to the Bahamas last year. According to the Bahamas authorities, criminal misconduct surrounding the company's collapse is being investigated. In light of the collapse of FTX globally and the provisional liquidation of FTX Digital Markets Limited, a team of financial investigators from the Financial Crimes Investigation Branch are working closely with the Bahamas Securities Commission to investigate if any criminal misconduct occurred, according to a statement released by the Royal Bahamas Police Force. The bankman Freed, a prominent figure in the crypto industry, was able to accumulate a fortune worth $25 billion at one time. Authorities aren't sure what part of the collapse is being investigated. The company he helped rescue in May, the Terra USD cryptocurrency, collapsed, and he's been working to save companies ever since. It's backed by both BlackRock and Sequoia Capital that FTX is one of the largest crypto exchanges worldwide. Bankman Freed's crypto hedge fund, Alameda, owned billions of dollars to customers before the collapse of his firm, according to the Wall Street Journal. It was revealed by Elliptic that $473 million worth of crypto assets have been stolen. After the bankrupt exchange announced it would launch a separate investigation the day before, Elliptic reported that the exchange would launch its own investigation on Saturday. FTX reported on Saturday that it was they were investigating whether crypto assets had been stolen as part of its investigation. As a result of observations of unauthorized transactions reported by FTX General Counsel Ryan Miller, Friday evening, which occurred within the company Digital Assets, FTX took the entire company's digital assets offline on Friday. As a result of the observations made on Friday evening, the company started the process immediately to mitigate the risk of any further damage to the company's digital assets. The company is investigating abnormalities relating to cryptocurrency wallet movements, related to consolidation of FTX balances across exchanges. Miller stated that more details will be provided as soon as possible. According to Crypto.com, Singapore-based Crypto.com is admitted to accidentally sending more than $400 million of Ether to the wrong account as a result of increased scrutiny of the big players in the crypto world. A competitor exchange, Gate.io, was used to transfer 320,000 Ether last week, a go to a corporate account that was not connected to an offline wallet, according to Chris Marzalek. Despite of recovering the funds, users are withdrawing funds from the platform in fear that it may collapse again, as it did with FTX. We have since strengthened our process and systems to better manage these internal of transfers, Mars Elect tweeted Sunday. The platform's native token has fallen over 20% in the last 24 hours, according to Coindesk. The CEO of Crypto.com stated Monday that the company has consistently acted responsibly and regulated the crypto industry since its inception. This will soon be able to prove all the naysayers wrong by what it's done, according to Mace Alec. Crypto.com has 70 million users worldwide, and its business model is completely different from that of FTX. According to him, there was never any third-party risks, hedge funds, or customer assets traded, according to him. It was Marzalek's firm's intention to release an audited report revealing its reserve shortly. Binance CEO Zhao, who spoke at the conference in Bali, predicted that regulations would be difficult. Although authorities' natural response is to borrow regulations from traditional banking systems, he said crypto exchanges operate differently from banks. In general, banks move user assets in order to make investments and in order to make a profit with them. Taking a lot of the way a crypto exchange operates, he explained that it's almost certain that it will collapse after a period of time. This is because it operates like that. Regulations are critical, but they cannot protect problematic players. 
Moreover, it's necessary to find billions of dollars in order to meet the withdrawal request for its customers. Furthermore, the company must find a way to keep customers from leaving the company by reassuring them that their money will always be safe. In a time when so many people are rushing out the door, it's difficult to keep up. According to Bankman Fried and Bloomberg on Thursday, the firm must remain solvent for at least the next four years to a funding gap of $8 billion. Bankman Fried tweeted just a few days before FTX agreed to sell to Binance that the company was fined and did not train customer assets, which raised further questions as the company was fined. Sequoia Capital, a venture capital firm that invested $150 million in FTX, said that the company faced liquidity and insolvency problems. FTX owed more than it had in liquidation. When the sale failed, SBF apologized for its failure and he resurfaced the next day after the sale failed. As a result of his poor communication, he apologized to the exchange and stated that the exchange was not insolvent, but he was mistaken in assuming that the exchange could not handle a liquidity crunch. As a result of this issue, as opposed to apologizing outright for his misbehavior and covering their rights, Bankman Fried somehow appeared to be defending himself from the accusations of others. In addition, FTX had loaned $10 billion to Alamedita to gamble with, a large amount of their $16 billion in assets. FTX crisis has caused the price of Bitcoin to fall to 16.5k a coin, its lowest value since 2020. If this spreads to the rest of the crypto market, it will also be possible. A 5% drop in FTX market value over the past 24 hours was reported by CoinMarketCap. Large companies and protocols exposed to it must prove their liquidity. The Solana protocol, for example, which lets users trade Bitcoins on its blockchain, is heavily reliant on the FTX network for its value. As a result, the value of that token would be unrecoverable if FTX failed out of business, wiping out millions of dollars overnight. As in every crypto crash, the $70 billion stablecoin Tether is the center of attention as it underpins a significant portion of the cryptocurrency sector's economy. The token is currently trading at $0.98 cents to the dollar, down from its peg this morning. Paolo Ardiano, the company's chief technology officer, tweeted to assure investors that 700 million withdrawals have been processed by the company over the past 24 hours. Taking his word for it, he said, no problem, just keep going. A new crypto winter has already been threatening the economic system during the past 12 months, which has already tested its resilience to the wobbles of the crypto market during the time period. Crypto markets topped $3 trillion last November, but they have since collapsed because of a combination of crypto-specific events and macroeconomic issues hovering around $800 billion now. It's pertinent to note that global financial markets also suffered during that period due to a much more serious issue than arose. These issues included the Russian invasion of Ukraine and increased interest rates. Institutional investors who are always looking for high returns on their investments were finding conventional assets more profitable in a high interest rate environment but there was still a slim chance that a crypto industry epidemic could spread into traditional financial markets, despite the fact that institutional investors are always looking for high returns on their investments. As the demand for traditional investments, such as bonds, increases, the risk of cryptos becomes a threat to the financial system are lessened. We've got more in-depth information about crypto markets on our channel. You can like and subscribe to our channel to keep updates on the latest crypto news. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll see you next time.